Hi everyone, I'm Camille Walford. Welcome to another CSEC Chemistry Required Experiment. In this experiment, we're looking at the disappearing cross. More formally, how concentration affects the rate of a reaction. But it's popularly known as the disappearing cross because in the experiment, we actually have a cross disappearing. Now, stay tuned to the end and we will actually look at the chemistry behind the cross disappearing. Now, this lab, though it is required for CSEC, you might find it, you may find that it's also useful for GCE O level, um, CAPE, and also GCE A levels. Now, in this experiment for CSEC, we're going to be looking at how concentration affects the rate of our reaction. We will be reacting sodium disulfate with 2 moles per dm cubed sulfuric acid. Now we're going to keep the concentration of our sulfuric acid constant. So we'll keep the volume and the concentration of our sulfuric acid constant, but we will manipulate the volume and hence the concentration of our sodium disulfate in each run. So we will start with 30 mils of sodium disulfate at 0.1 mole per dm cube. Sodium disulfate, we'll pour that into a 100 ml beaker and we will put that beaker on top of a piece of paper on which we'll mark X. We will then add, or we'll then carefully pour 30 mils of our sulfuric acid to this and immediately start our stopwatch. And we're going to actually look from above and we're going to stop the stopwatch the moment the cross disappears, the moment we can no longer see the cross. In the second round, we will use 25 centimeters cube of sodium disulfate with five centimeters cube of water to make our volume up to 30. And we will use our 30 centimeters cube of sulfuric acid. Again, we start the stopwatch immediately and we wait for the cross to disappear.
So in your treatment of results, we will plot a graph of volume of sodium disulfate versus time. And we will also plot a graph of volume of sodium disulfate versus the inverse of time. Now to make it easier to choose scales, because when we actually take the inverse of time, we're going to be getting some small numbers. So to make um, choosing of scales um, easier, I'm suggesting that we, we multiply whatever we get for the inverse of time, we multiply it by 10,000. So it's easier to actually um, choose our scales. So this is an example of what your graph would look like. Of course, this was done in Excel, but you will do this um, manually using a graph table. So this is an idea of what you should get. Let us look at what is happening on the molecular level. When sodium thiosulfate reacts with sulfuric acid, the products are sodium sulfate, a salt, sulfur, a solid, sulfur dioxide, a gas, and water. The sulfur that is formed accumulates as a white precipitate in the mixture resulting in the X on which the container sits becoming obscured. As such, the cross appears to disappear. So, things are not always as they appear. As was seen in this experiment, the cross only appeared to disappear. Have fun writing up this lab. Now, if you like the content that is shared here, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.